morning. It is December 10th, 2022, and we are in Tucson, Arizona, um, doing the Tucson Half Marathon. Uh, there is no participant drop-off at the starting line, so we are getting ready to get on some school buses to the shuttle, uh, shuttle buses. It's a little early. Um, celebrating my birthday with this half marathon, so I'm excited to get this one started, and uh, this is my final race of 2022, so I'm gonna go pick a bus, and we'll see at the starting line. Here we have arrived and we're unloading from the shuttle buses. It was a really easy 20 minute drive. Really cool to see the moon shining bright. As you can see, it's still very dark um, as it was pretty early when we first arrived. Heading over to where the heaters are, it was only about 35 degrees at the start line. So I had some throwaway sweatpants on um, before the race actually started. So here is the shuttle drop off. Everybody is gathering, heading to the restrooms. It's super dark and uh, the excitement was definitely building at this point in the race as everybody gathered and unloaded from the shuttle buses. Here the sun is starting to come up and you can just see the mountains and all the beautiful scenery popping up. I tell you, this was such a well-organized, beautiful race. The instructions were really easy to follow. The running club sent out a ton of directions. This was a great race to participate in. Wave one is going. I'm in wave two, so walk into the start line. This is always one of the most exciting parts of the race. Our wave is getting ready to be called out to start our race. Um, sun was shining. Again, it's about 35 degrees, and everyone is just ready to tackle this beautiful, beautiful race. There is about 4,000 people typically who participate in the Tucson Marathon, so it's a nice small group, very easy to manage, um, and, and a pretty easy route to run. So here we're getting ready to take off on our start. And, uh, and hit the streets of Tucson. Now I recorded just a little bit the first few miles because as you can see the only amount of space that we have to start out is this one shoulder. Uh, this is a, an active highway and traffic is still going each direction so I wanted to make sure I was paying attention to my footing just not having a huge path or berth that we could actually run on. Um, so I recorded a little bit of footage on the start but not, not a ton overall just because I wanted to make sure I was paying attention to my surroundings, being safe, uh, not tripping over cones because uh, I'm definitely good at that as well so uh, just taking it all in as we run down in the first few miles there. this street I'm super pumped because I had predominantly downhill from the start uh, miles 10 and 11 were really hilly though they were my slowest miles at a 10 minute per, per mile pace and a 1035 um, so I was really excited to be coming around the corner here to the finish line and the greatest part was around the Gatorade uh, fencing here my wife Michelle and our friends Nick and Jill were there cheering me at the finish so seeing them right here was the boost that I needed to really sprint to the finish and get this race knocked out I was really proud of this. This ended up being my fastest half marathon of 2022 overall and my second fastest since I've started running uh, back in 2009. So seeing my friends, getting that excitement, seeing the finish line helps me sprint to the finish. Two more halves coming in. We've got Jack Mittenmeyer and Sarah Caesar. Welcome to your finish, Emily Kamor and Ryan Heathoff. Big five is done. Got a little difficult at the end. There were some rolling hills. Your hands going. 10 to 12, but 
Caleb. Got it done. Five states done in 2022. Feel good. Peace. Ending with a couple of photos from the race. i uh, very, very grateful to have Jill, Nick, and my beautiful wife there at the finish line. And also all the travel plans that my wife helps me with to get this goal done. Um, she never hesitates to help me get things accomplished. So thank you, babe. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Jill. Um, really looking forward to racing next year in 2023.